all of you, all many of you might know that. On 2nd of April 2019, there was a meeting at Bob Interpreter. And that was what started in 2012 after dissociation of this youth and from Russia Union. The India was just recognized it. And 2012, the president of this country visited India. And 2013, there were three missing meetings consecutively. And the fourth meeting was held on 2nd of April 2019. And the many steps have been covered. I will come on later. Before that, I will give you some descriptions of you know, the risk. What is the risk? Because every investor who is investing their money in other country, the prime consideration is just to save the interest of the country, the interest of the investor, the return of the money. So in that regard, we have certain of uh, risk that is factor is ladies and gentlemen so I have uh, given the uh, detailed descriptions in paper that has been published uh, and the book was distributed in your uh, kids employment underemployment in the short of time this I will failure national governments Financial mechanism and institutions. Energy price shock. Energy price shock and fiscal crisis. Cyber attacks. Cyber attacks potent factor. In this regard, profound social instability. Failure of critical infrastructure and technological environments. Failure of regional and global governance, interstate conflict, terrorist attacks, extreme weather events, and natural catastrophe on account of climate change. These are the factors when any investor wants to invest their money in other country, he looks on that factors. How his interest is saved. Now coming on the point, the real topic of our discussion is that our relations with this country is very friendly and we have come here just to make these relations to be at a new height. Uh, that one is in the field of cooperation in the field of a small and medium entrepreneurship. Let me tell you In previous session, the data was given that 16,000 students from India they are studying here. Just to think, my endowed vice chancellor has given the data of this population between 18 and 25 years. If their economic prosperity is going on, going high, this data of coming students in this country, if not in the thousand, that will be the lakhs. And for that, both the countries have taken the initiative. That initiative is a cooperation in the field of a small and medium entrepreneurship. And we will be happy to know that both government has agreed upon just to appoint the nodal agency who will coordinate, coordinate for the development of this small and medium entrepreneurship in the field of implementation of technology incubation center in Ukraine for the development of micro small enterprises. Facilitation in creating enterprise, enterprise cooperation, exchange of business regulations, Consultancy in development of a small and medium enterprises in Ukraine. <coughs> Cooperation in leather, tobacco, gems, and jewelry in tea sectors. That decision has been taken. In leather sector, in leather sector, Ukraine's import of leather goods footwear is less than 1%. Most 
mainly due to high rates of import duty in Ukraine. Such Ukrainian side is requested to consider bringing such import duty uniform of 5% of leather goods to Ukraine. Tobacco sector, you know, tobacco products as Ukrainian annual import of this product is raised from 60,000 to 79,000 metric ton per year. Gems and jewelry in that sector also has been taken the decision in industry, which is very important for development of the nation. And at government level, the discussion is going on. They are just looking after the feasibility. Industry sector, Ukrainian side proposed to their Indian counterparts to consider the possibility of the following proposals towards ensuring active cooperation between the two countries in the field of continuing and deepening the development of bilateral cooperation in industrial sphere. Supply of the railroads and underground railway carries products to the Indian market. Participation of Ukrainian enterprises in the implementation of energy projects for the construction, reconstruction, modernization of energy facilities in India. Modernization of existing and construction of new Indian metallurgical enterprises. With the active involvement of Ukrainian scientific and technical institutions. To consider the possibility of UTP state agencies and airlines of India allowed to the regional passenger aircraft AM148 by 158 and helicopters and their required spare parts for the construction concerned industry in Ukraine. Cooperation with Indian public and private enterprises in the production of titanium and its products order is in the dioxide treatment. Cooperation in the field of technical regulation, standardization, methodology, certification, conformity, assessment. So this decision has been taken by the government. Cooperation in the field of public-private partnership and investment. A very important one. We have to look into it. And it will emphasize that the bilateral investment relations with the two countries have huge potential and more can be done for faster cooperation. Other sectors like those of railways, aircraft, pharmaceuticals, metallurgical, tourism. The government of India has also put it pays investor friendly policy, FDI, under the FDI to 100% permitted under automatic route in the most sector of the activities. Make up India, start up India. Indian government has given the different proposals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Granting Ukrainian market economy status within the framework of anti dumping investigations. So we have taken all the policy decisions. And one thing important is that in 2020, the next meeting of that working group is proposed in Kiev. So what we have started in the name of this Changing this the business dynamics that is going on, and I hope that this our cooperation, this our cooperation with different fields that will be very better for the future generation. And uh, I would uh, sum up myself in few lines. Though that song is in Hindi, I will translate it to in English later on. But in those I have yaar ka profile hai. That means we have come from very distant place and with love, with love to you people and when we go back with nothing but your love and affection. Thank you very much. Among us to share the conference, we have a certain level of respect for the people and the people.